Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So the question of the day is what are some topics or questions that you should avoid on your very first date? I love this, so stay tuned for this. All right, family, thank you for coming back. So let me just mention that my online courses are there. I will put the information in the description box below. If you are on YouTube, if you are on my Facebook fan page, then I will put it as the first pinned comment. All right, so definitely check out my online courses. Absolutely, we'll get so much information out of them, whether you are single. I have a singles course, I have a dating course, and I also have a relationships course, whether you are in a long-term relationship or in a marriage. So check out my online courses. You will absolutely learn so much about your relationship. If you want to increase the healthiness of your relationship, check out my online courses. If you want to understand how to navigate through the dating stages, check out my online courses. If you want to work on yourself to be able to know what you want, need, and desire from yourself before you get into a relationship and then also once you start getting into a relationship check out my online courses now thank you okay <laughs> I'm just so proud and happy to put these online courses out there I made them um, relatively affordable on purpose but that will only last for a limited time so definitely check them out okay can I say it again okay I don't got to anywho so I have eight topics or questions that you should avoid on your very first date. Let me just go ahead and jump to these, all right? All right, first of all, let me just say that you should make these questions generalized as possible. Please understand and know that even though you or the other person is asking, the question does not necessarily mean that it is between you two, but on your first date, you can kind of come off as a bit thirsty asking these questions or like you want to automatically do these things and trap the other person in the next week or two. These are questions that you should ask just not on the first date. Let the relationship mature a bit and then you can see exactly where this is going and you can automatically throw these questions out there once the comfort level is built up a lot more but definitely not on the first date okay. So the very first one is how many children do you want? Mm -mm. don't do that because <laughs> it don't matter how many children you want you trying to see if you even like this person number one so you don't need to know how many children that they want and even if they answer the question as I mentioned already it does not mean that they want to have these children these said children with you boo okay now moving on <laughs> the second one is where do you see us moving I mean like I seen this big old house over there and we would be perfect in that house don't do that <laughs> Will we move it? Like, uh-uh, don't do that, okay? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay? No, no, no. Reel it on in. Find out some information about the person. Do you even know their last name while you're talking about will we move it? Okay, don't do that. Don't set yourself up for the person to never, ever, 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 ever call you again. <laughs> Third one right here. Like, some people think that this is cool to do, but it's not. And the question is, how many sex partners have you had? Um, first of all, we weren't together, so you don't need to know about me and my sex life. Second of all, I don't have to answer to you, boo, okay? Third of all, how many have you had with your little ugly self? Number four, this is like gold digger. You screaming gold digger right here. I mean, what kind of car did you drive? I, I mean, you know, did you walk up or did you, did, like, what did you drive in here? Like, it don't even matter. It don't even matter if I had a hoopty coming up in here. I won't be calling you back. Matter of fact, I'm cutting this date short. Don't matter what I drove. Screaming gold. I mean, you got the you got the whole illumination of gold digger all around you with that one. <laughs> the next one. Um, how many baby mamas do you have, or how many baby daddies do you have? First of all, that is not cute. Can I just put a side note in here and say that I really hate when somebody say baby mama and baby daddy. Like, that is just too ghetto. Like, I hate it. Like, I hate it with a passion. Hate it. I hate when people even try to throw that at me because I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm his fiance. I happen to have his child. I'm not his baby mama. Okay? No. Don't do it, boo. Don't try it. I got something for you. <laughs> 
This next one is relevant because I just did a video about this, which is, have you paid your child support? First of all, you don't even know me like that to be asking that question. Second of all, how you know I'm even going to call you after this? Like, you might not even make it past this date, this meeting. So, you don't even know about me and my finances as of yet. You're not that important in my life as of yet to be asking that, okay? Now, of course, I will link that last video that I did about the back child support with the taxes. I will link that up here at some point and, of course, down in the description box below. So, check that out, okay? Check it out. But check it out after this. The next one. So, when are you looking to get married? I mean, like, I'm looking to get married like ASAP. What? <laughs> like, did I say that you will not get a return call? Like, I did say that, didn't I? Right. So, just know that as soon as we leave here, you don't even have to worry about me checking to see did you get home okay. You don't even have to look, look to see that I'm going to say we had a great time because you, even if that is the end game for both of us, I don't know if I want it with you. And then you looking super thirsty as if you trying to trap me off of some of your shenanigans. Okay? So just keep those things in mind. And actually, I said eight, but I noticed that I repeated one, so I only actually have seven. So we're going to say seven things, so I am done. Definitely give me thumbs up if you have liked this video. What are some of the things that you know that you should not be talking about on a first date that you actually have done? Of course, I want to read those down in the comment section below, whether you are on my fan page or on YouTube. I could care less. I want to read some of your comments. Let me know. Let's keep this dialogue going. And um, of course, subscribe if you are on YouTube and like my page if you are on my fan page. I love to see that you guys will continuously interact with me and I interact with you and we can keep this thing going. Yes. So I will see you again tomorrow. Just say.